I can't decide whether I'm going to put the tractor riding here or at the end of this video. I might put it at the end. Might put it at the front. Don't know. But what we got here, MS361 for Stacy. He's uh, having some saw issues today. And so I got this one here. and He said it was dumping all the gas through the motor. So uh, we're going to tear the carburetor down and put a kid in it right quick. Put some gas in it and see if that don't remedy the problem because the the guts in this carburetor yeah everything looks pretty clean in here i mean you know it's nice but we're going to clean it anyway we're going to put a needle in it if the rest of the stuff don't look too bad i probably won't change it everything looks pretty clean but we're gonna we're gonna wash it off we're going to wash it off. There's a little bit of wood fiber in there. These things get a little bit of wood fiber in them, but this carburetor looks clean, but there's a little bit of corrosion in here. There's part of that needle I was... Come on. That gum... It's just too bright. Let me see if I can turn it down a little bit here. I turned the right way. This needle pin right there. That's what you want level with the top of the carburetor. So we're going to see if we can't get it set. The biggest thing is this, it just doesn't show up well. My lighting is not exactly what it could be. But if I got it dim, it's too dim. If I got it bright, it seems to be too bright. Let's see what we got here. It looks like we got something stuck on the needle. The tip of the needle. Looked like it had something on it. I don't know. I don't know for sure, but I know it doesn't really look like there's anything in there. We're going to wash it out. I'm just going to spray some brake cleaner through both directions and hit it with air hose. That way, if there's any cellulose or anything in there, it should blow it all out. People sometimes ask me, say, well, why don't you show cleaning the carburetor? Well, I'm literally just spraying it with brake cleaner and hitting it with air hose. I just try not to blow in the holes real hard. So if it's got little something in there, some of them have little valves and stuff in them. You don't want to blow them little valves out. But I literally just shoot some in here and shoot some down through the through the hole and then blow it out and check it over and see what it looks like. This thing's been run a lot. This is a this is a uh, 361 that I ported and put a big bore cylinder on it three or four years ago maybe. And they have run the wheels off of it. So far we haven't had much trouble with it. I think the spark plug come out of it one time, the decomp come out one time. He's broke a lot of brackets on it, but the brackets are all OEM, so well the whole saw is OEM except for the cylinder and the piston. Everything else is everything else is OEM, just the cylinder and the pistons aftermarket. And it's been, it's been ran, and it's been ran hard. I 
needle for now. Does this diaphragm? The diaphragm is nice and soft. Uh, there is some stuff stuck on the back of it because it gets a bunch of dust in it. For some reason, these 361s that he has are real bad about getting dust in the air box. Uh, I think I'm going to order a new air filter to go on this one because it's getting some wear on it. Uh, and I don't know if that's causing some of the issues or, or what, but we're going to put a new needle in it because the needle that was in it does not look very nice. It's, it's got some wire on it, even on the rubber, and it looked like it had a piece of something stuck to it. Like something might have got in there. Which is not uncommon. I see it a lot. Now how it gets in there, I don't know, but it does. Come on, fingers. All right. And there ain't, there ain't no way I can get in here close and show y'all how I actually do this. Especially with this glove on. But I basically stand the spring up in there and then put the needle in the little, the little notches and push the pin over to the opposite side of the screw, set it down in there and then slip it under the screw. And try to get it all set down in there at one time, so... Oh, mercy. I had to regrind my screwdriver this morning. I need a new screwdriver. I'm going to have to go get me a screwdriver. But I want to get me a nice one. See, we're tipping just a hair there. So what we're going to do is hold the needle down and give it just a little. And then bump it a couple times and still tipping. So... Still getting it just a hair. There we go. Now it's not hidden. All right. Now we're going to stick her back together and get her stuck back together. I'll put it back on. We'll see if it'll run. So, uh, I had to change a mount on this thing too. It had a mount that was broke. I didn't have the actual mount, but I had one that was real close. So I just got it stuck back on there and I had to finagle the hole a little bit to get it to fit. So we're gonna have to order some, a few mounts and air filter anyway. So the main thing is I can get him back to running it. That'll get him, that'll get him back to going. So I can do some other stuff wait for them other parts to come in. He got a 460 it quit on him this morning. He said it was running it and it just made a puff sound. And now when you pull a crank rope, it doesn't do anything. So it either sheared the flywheel key or broke the crank or rod. We don't know which one yet. I'll get it from him and we'll inspect the cade it and see what happened. Yeah, this stuff looks pretty fresh cause it ain't been it hadn't been too awful long, I think, since I put the kit in the carburetor on this thing. But the needle, we go ahead and change it out. We're going to stick it back together and see if it does what he says. He just said it was crank and run, let it set, and all the gas would come out the muffler. So we put a new needle in it, cleaned it out, and got all that trash out of it. It'll probably be just fine after that. So, uh... Now we got the carburetor put back together. I'm not going to show putting it back on. Because most of you, if you take one off, you can figure out how to put it back on. Especially a 361. It's not. It's not a whole lot of anything to it. That needle. Yeah, the tip on that needle flat. It's got a groove war in it. 
Maybe I didn't put a carburetor kit in this one. I don't know. I don't know. But, all right, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it back on, and I'll bring you back here directly. Oh, oh, there you are. It took me a minute to find you. Well, I got her stuck back together. I had to mix up some gas, y'all. I was out. <laughs> well, wasn't out, but there wasn't enough in there to do anything with. But the saw is dry, so we're going to pour some in it and see if it'll fire off. If it will, I'm going to leave it sitting here and uh, go down to Dad's because i got a few things to do down there. i got a saw down there in the cooker. We're going to we're going to fill her up just about all the way. But we want to make sure that it's good and full. Cool. Let's see if we can turn that up here a little bit. Don't seem to be leaking out on the table. That's a good thing. So, let's see if she'll run. I hope it ain't full of gas from before. Sit there and burn the oil off of it a little bit, and uh, I'm gonna edit y'all video right quick and uh, send it up. So uh, y'all have a good day. We'll see you on the next one. Bill Hopper out.